So, Wolves 2, Crystal Palace 0. Uh, a good way to come back to doing these uh, match reviews. Uh, while I've been away, there's been a few iffy results. There's been, been a few good results and a few, um, at the start especially, a few bad results. Um, but coming back to it, a very good win um, against, overall, a pretty poor uh, Palace team. Um, first of all, we'll go through the starting eleven. So, Patricio in goal, as always. Uh, back three of Cody in the middle. Uh, on the right hand side, uh, then Donka and on the left, Bolly. Uh, two wing backs were Johnny, Doherty, uh, the two midfield, Neves, Matinho. Um, the wingers, uh, either side of Raul Jimenez, was uh, Adama Traore and Daniel Bedentz. Um And yeah, in the in the first 30 minutes, 35 minutes, I thought it was really poor. I thought it's probably one of the, one of the worst first half um, I've seen. And we're, we're never great first half, any. Wolves fan will know that we're not a great, uh, we're not a great first half team at all. But I thought especially the, especially the first thirty minutes were pretty poor. I thought Johnny, um, which is Mister Consistent, but I thought this is probably one of his fir- worst uh, worst first half. Especially um, he did go on to score, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, just very sloppy, giving the ball away um, very easily. Uh, Schlupp had had a very good chance to make it one 0 uh, pretty early on in the first 20 minutes or something like that, uh, but just drags his shot wide. Um, and then our first decent play of the game, I think it came in the 40th, 41st minute, uh, our first decent bit of play where he was passing it around a bit. Uh, Matinho with a brilliant pass, just chipped uh, over to Doherty, he just squares it for Bedentz, who has an open goal um, and gets his first goal, which he, he deserved um, out of all the performances, um, especially over the last week or so. Um, he deserved that goal. Uh, and he was well worked, like I said, our first bit of decent play. Uh, the first time he actually kept the ball um, for a little bit, passing it around. Um, and yeah, just speed, speed up a little bit. And again, it was a brilliant pass by Matinho. Um, he hasn't been great. Um, I don't think, especially from set pieces, he hasn't been great um, over the last few weeks. But that, that's the Matinho we know. Uh, that's what we know he can do. Um, and yeah, that's put us 1-0 up. Uh, again, a very rare goal in the first half, but we went in uh, one nil up, um, and then the second half, we're a second half team, and we just we just came at them a little bit more. Um, I thought Palace had had a lot of free kicks, especially in the first half as well. Had a lot of free kicks uh, where they could have punished us, and any other good team probably would have punished us, but the delivery just just wasn't on it. Uh, Townsend had a few free kicks, but it was comfortably saved by um, by Patricio. Um, but yeah, like I said, any other decent team uh, with the chances they had, they easily could have punished us. Um, but but we kept strong in the second half. I thought the back three were a lot better. And in the second half, I don't think Patricio had to do much. Um, I think he had a, a shot from Zaha, which was in like the 85th minute. Um, but again, didn't, it didn't have much to do at all in the game. Um, like we said, in the second half, we just, just completely controlled it, really. Uh, and then we ended up getting that second goal. Um, brilliant work by Troy Ray down the right-hand side. Um, and I thought the left-back, to be fair, uh, who was making his debut for Palace, I thought he'd done all right um, up till then. And then he just completely megs him, um, skims past him, plays it into him and as then he sometimes he like, a miss a miss hit shot, goes to Johnny. Um, and what, what a shot, by the way. Like, the power he got in that. We already know his thighs are, like, massive. But uh, it was a great stroke as well. Um Again, he's, he's deserved a goal like that as well because he's always been consistent and the first half wasn't his best at all uh, in the Wolves shirt, but he's always been consistent. Um, he doesn't get the goals or the assists like Doc does, uh, but he did, he did deserve that. And it, was, it was a great finish um, and I thought he was going to get more. I thought there was a few chances where we could have even got third. Uh, I remember just before that as well, Pedence played Troy Ray through, um, hit his straight at the keep and then the rebound uh, was blocked, I think, by Pedence. Um But yeah... Uh, in the second half, we was completely in control. Um, I thought Zaha, I thought we kept him quiet for quite a bit. Had to change his boots. There's about four different pairs of boots on the side. Um, yeah, I thought we kept him quiet quite a lot. I thought the referee made some questionable decisions. There was quite a lot of just nothing fouls in the game. And he was kind of stop-start. But I feel like the referee was just giving, giving fouls for anything. Um, so it wasn't the best performance by the ref. But... Overall, uh, a good result, of a game we needed to win, really. Um, another clean sheet as well, which is great. I think that's 13 for the season for Patricio now. Um, now we go into the last game 
uh, against Chelsea, which isn't going to be easy at all. Um, hopefully, um, if if the player like did in the uh, semi-finals of the FA Cup, then it's going to be a real difficult game. But we know Chelsea that they can have their off days um, in defence, especially and. Um, it was only a few weeks ago where they conceded two goals to this Palace team, and in the whole game they didn't look like scoring two at all. So hopefully we have one that they have one of them off days, um, especially in defence. But it's going to be a really difficult game. I think Chelsea, are a really good team, uh, I do really enjoy watching them play. But it's going to be a good game. Uh, hopefully we can get into Europe next season. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Um, on the games and stuff like that. Um, of course, I'll be doing a review for the Chelsea game and any of the Europa games as well. Um, yeah, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it would mean a lot if you can like and, like and subscribe uh, to the channel. There'll be more of this uh, coming in the future. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you OPN, uh, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors OPN, uh, take that hot road and hop in. Uh. Open up.